Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is the another example on Fourier series. See the statement. Represent root over 1 minus cos x as a Fourier series expansion on the interval open, open interval minus pi comma plus pi. Don't forget one important point. Suppose given interval is in the form of minus pi comma plus pi. We have to verify that given function is even function or odd function. Suppose given interval is in the form of open interval 0 comma 2 pi instead of minus pi comma pi then we have to find out all Fourier coefficients in the Fourier series expansion which are a0 by 2, an and bn. We have to find out all the three terms when interval is in the form of 0 comma 2 pi. But whenever interval is in the form of minus pi comma plus pi check that it is even or odd. Okay? Solution. Given that f of x is equal to just I am putting the name as f of x root over 1 minus cos x defined on open interval minus pi comma plus pi. So, to check that it is even or odd we have to find out f of minus x already know it. So, f of minus x means whenever we have x in this function blindly replace it by minus x. So, you will get 1 minus cos of minus x. So, root of 1 minus what is cos of minus theta? Cos of minus theta is plus cos theta that is why it is cos x only. So, entire term is nothing but again f of x. So, we observed that f of minus x is equal to plus f of x. So, what is the conclusion? f of x is nothing but root over 1 minus cos x is an even function. So, if it is in a even function, what is our benefit? It is, uh, it is not, uh, not necessary to find out bn value. If you find bn value, it becomes 0. Just find out a naught and a n values, it is enough. So, for here series expansion has only FSC means Fourier series expansion. Do not write in our examinations like this, okay, as only cosine terms. So, that implies f of x becomes a0 by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n into cos n x. So, it is enough to find out the values of a0 by 2 and a n, okay. Already you know that we have. Euler's formula for getting a0 value and an value. Uh, what are an a0 value? <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x dx. Okay, we can use this formula to get a0 value here. Do not write 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi formula because here we are using the even and odd concept. That is why use this formula, replace the values 2 by pi integral 0 to pi, what is f of x root over 1 minus cos x into dx. Okay. How can we find out the integration of this term? 2 by pi into integral 0 to pi root over, we have a formula for 1 minus cos x, it would be 2 sin square x by 2. Okay. Here root 2 is the constant term right outside from the integration. So, you will get 2 root 2 by pi integral 0 to pi. So, root over sin square means square root, root gets cancelled. You will get simply sin of x by 2 into dx. This is a trigonometry formula 1 minus cos x is equal to 2 sin square x by 2. Okay. So, 2 root 2 this is the value of a naught. What is the integral sign? Minus cos of x by 2 by 1 by 2. Coefficient of x should be right in the denominator because integral cos a x sorry it is sin integral sin a x is equal to minus cos a x by a according to this formula I got this. Here a is nothing but coefficient of x it would be 1 by 2. So, you have to write uh, this 1 by 2 as 2. 
टू टू सा फोर रूट टू बाय पाई माइनस इज देयर अप्लाई द अपर लिमिट कॉस वेन एवर वी हैव एक्स रिप्लेसड बाय पाई सो यू विल गेट कॉस पाई बाय टू माइनस बट ऑलरेडी हियर वी हैव नेगेटिव साइन दैट्स वे यू विल गेट माइनस ऑफ माइनस प्लस रिप्लेस एक्स इज इक्वल जीरो यू विल गेट सिंपली कॉस जीरो सो फोर रूट बाय पाई इनटू व्हाट इज कॉस पाई बाय टू ऑलरेडी नो इट्स कॉस पाई बाय टू इज जीरो कॉस नाइंटी माइनस जीरो प्लस कॉस जीरो इज वन सो टोटल इट इज वन वन इनटू फोर रूट टू बाय टू फोर रूट टू बाय पाई दिस इज ए नॉट वैल्यू बट वी नीड ए नॉट बाय टू दैट्स वे डिवाइड विथ टू ऑन बोथ साइड्स सो ए नॉट बाय टू इज इक्वल टू दिस टू गेट्स कैंसिल ट्वाइस इन द न्यूमरेटर सो टू रूट टू बाय पाई okay in this way we can simplify the a not by 2 value now we are going to find out the value of an what is an 2 by pi integral 0 to pi an into cos nx dx replace the values 2 by pi into integral 0 to pi oh, sorry this is not an this is f of x now what is f of x root over 1 minus cos x into cos n x dx. So it is enough to find out the value of this integral c. See, I will write the continuation here. So this would be 2 by pi into integral 0 to pi. So root over 1 minus cos x. Root over 1 minus cos x is nothing but already we saw the uh, value of 1 minus cos x in the a not it is 2 sin square x by 2 remaining term is cos n x into dx so here root 2 is the constant right outside this uh, root 2 to outside root 2 into 2 is there i will take this 2 to inside so root 2 by pi is the constant which is in the outside integral 0 to pi 2 is there and root over sin square is nothing but square root gets cancel sin of x by 2 into cos nx clearly here we are observing that we can't apply uv rule here because one term is sin and another one is cos so both are trigonometric terms are in product then we can't apply uv rule so here we are going to apply trigonometric transformation formula it is in the form of 2 sin a cos b what is 2 sin a cos b formula sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b according to this rule this previous steps becomes to root over 2 by pi integral 0 to pi sin of a plus b what is a x by 2 what is nx what is b value nx so x by 2 plus nx this can be written as of plus n whole into x so x is the common term that's why we are able to write like this so sin of of plus n whole into x plus sin of a minus b so you will get of minus n whole into x whole dx so root over 2 by pi into just write the integration of sin already we, here we have what is integral sin ax minus cos ax by a so minus cos of of plus n into x by what is the x coefficient of plus n again here integral sin is minus plus is there plus into minus minus cos of of minus n into x whole by of minus n within the limits 0 to pi integration is over that's why it is enough to apply the limits so root over 2 by pi here by applying upper limit you will get minus cos 1 by 2 plus n of pi see here i will write the formula here cos of 1 by 2 plus n into pi this is nothing but cos of pi by 2 Plus pi n by replacing n is equal to anything, you will get it is zero. In the similar way, the second part is also becomes to zero. Cos of 
pi by 2 minus pi n this value is also 0. So, by applying upper limit both terms becomes 0 you can write direct steps no problem minus but already minus is there. So, minus of minus plus by replacing x is equal to 0 you will get cos 0 cos 0 is 1 what is cos 0 1 1 by 2 plus n by applying lower limit you have to write negative sign already negative sign is there. So, you will get minus of minus plus 1 by 1 by 2 minus n ok. So, if we simplify this term you will get the answer root over 2 by pi into what is the LCM here uh, of plus n into of minus n a plus b into a minus b formula. So, a square 1 by 4 minus n square. So, you should multiply this one to this of minus n of minus n plus you should multiply this numerator 1 to this denominator of plus n. We are observing that plus n minus n gets cancelled root 2 by pi into. So, of plus of it is 1 by 1 by 4 minus n square. If you take the LCM this 4 goes to numerator. So, 1 into 4 4 and it would be 1 minus 4 n square. So, this is the value of a n after getting the a n value after getting the a n value you should replace a naught by 2 value and a n value in the required Fourier series expansion you will get the final Fourier representation of the given function. This is the way to find the Fourier series expansion when given interval is minus pi comma plus pi ok. In the next video I will give some more examples thank you very much.